All right, ladies, gentlemen, boys, girls, and of course, fellow fish and accomplices. Good morning and welcome back to fishing. So it is the last third of August right now, and we are on the water. We are in the Western Long Island South and the Connecticut side. Uh, and as always, I'm just telling you that because there's slightly different regulations. Uh, yeah, we are actually at a spot today that was not my first choice. Um, originally, I was hoping to fish somewhere a little bit further east, a uh, place I'd never been before. However, once I got there, it became clear that in order to park there, it would cost about $50, which I was like, heck no. Uh, so that was my plan A, this was my plan B. But yeah, we're at this spot and focusing on today's session. Uh, today's a pretty nice day wind-wise. At least that's what the forecast said, and that's how it looks right now. Uh, last week when I went fishing, the forecast was wrong every single time. Supposedly calm, then just got nasty. I just have a, a hunch that that's not gonna happen today, but it could. Um, but for that reason, we are going out deep to start today. We are going out basically as far as we're gonna go out, about two and a half, three miles from launch, and just give that as much of an effort as we can if it's worth it. Um, looking for sea bass, ideally, potentially weak fish, potentially fluke. Uh, I'd actually say the weak fish is probably more likely than the fluke if it's like last time I was in this area. Uh, but I'd love to get a few legal sized sea bass. Um, not expecting it, but it's very possible. There definitely should be some fish in this area. And if that doesn't work or if it doesn't go the way we want to, we'll start making our way back in. We're going out far because it's safe to go there now and we're gonna be making our way back in as the session goes on. We're getting a little bit of a late start today too because this wasn't the spot I wanted to go to. Uh, so we're gonna try and be as efficient as we can. But that is the plan. Hopefully it's something that will interest you. So please stay tuned because you know what we're about to do. Get some fishing. Accomplished. <laughs> okay, quite the, the hike out here, but we're gonna get set up for our first spot. We got a three quarter ounce SNS jig head. And we have a five inch gulp paddle shad. And we're gonna keep it simple, just see if this will do the trick. It should, if there's anything around. Looks good. We might not have that much tide to start, but once things get moving, you know, next hour or so, it should really be picking up. So let's see what is going on in the Western Long Island Sound. All right, first spot, let's see what we can do. So, if you watched the last video, one thing I did say is hopefully I'd be in Montauk uh, now. But uh, as you can tell, we're not in Montauk. Um, I did go out there, but then some stuff came up and I had to come back pretty quick. So I apologize for that. Not trying to do a bait and switch. However, I do plan on going out to Montauk hopefully next week, kind of as a summer season finale. So hopefully that'll happen and that'll be something to look forward to. But in the meantime, let's make the most of where we are. First drift. There we go. That's a nice fish. Oh, that's a good start. That's something nice. If it's a sea bass, we're in business. I don't think it is, but it might be. Feeling like kind of like a weak fish. I've got like some tendonitis in my elbow. It's not feeling great, <laughs> but the desire to fish pushes us through. It's a nice fish, whatever this is. I mean, heck, even if it's a sea robin, it's got to be a giant. Weak fish. Nice weak fish. Very nice weak fish. Damn. Wow. This is just like the weak fish hotspot over here. Easy like six pounder probably. Five, six pounder. Keeping them in the water, keep them healthy. Nice fish. Wow, that might be my biggest one. <laughs> that is pretty cool. Let's get the plier. 
spiders. I really don't want to keep this fish. I do not find weak fish to be good eating. Very quick measure, quick picture, quick release. He got me a little bit. Keeping him in the water. So we don't want to keep this fish. Nice fish, man. Jeez. Oh, yeah. 27 and a half incher. Much to grab onto. He's good. Whew. All right. Definitely can't complain with that start. Nice six, seven pound weak fish. Uh, yeah, 27 and a half inch here. You're only allowed to keep one weak fish and it has to be over 16 inches, I believe. I don't even know because I just do not like weak fish. Uh, just to elaborate, I've kept two weak fish before in my life, personally. Uh, the first one was a few years ago. It was a 22 incher, which was my biggest one at that time. I fried it with sea bass and fluke. That was probably a huge mistake. Thing just turned to mush. I did not like it. And then earlier this season, I got a 28 incher, which is my PB lengthwise. Uh, the fish was gut hooked, so I had no choice, bleeding all over the place. And I baked that one, a little marinade, and I just didn't like how mushy it was, so. I put weak fish like right there with bluefish. Very oily. I don't like the consistency of the meat. Maybe smoking them would be good. I don't know, but I just do not enjoy them. But I love catching them. So let's see if uh, we can get an even bigger one or some sea bass or whatever. I'd love to try and get over a 30 inch weak fish. That would be awesome. Like a real fishing accomplishment. But uh, whatever. We're just having a good time today. Already getting bit. Can't get the camera on quick enough. Yep, yep, there it is. <laughs> ah, damn. That was a good hit. Probably another weak fish. Felt like a weak fish. Doing that tide run. That's not quite as big. That feels like a sea bass. <laughs> Indeed. That's definitely not what we lost. <laughs> Let's keep going. Let's do a long drift. All right. We just got hung up and lost uh, the leader and the jig head and the paddle shad, of course. So I retied. Uh, this time I'm going to try it the half out. Try downsizing. Sometimes I find the lighter works better. Almost always I find lighter works better if you can hold bottom. So. A lot of these fish are missing the hook or not getting hooked well, so let's see if the smaller profile increases the hook set. I know a fair amount of these fish are porgies, but even still, some of those fish that I hooked, I don't know why or how they got off, so let's see if this makes a difference. All right, half ounce jig head. I might be able to get away with this now, but once that tide really picks up, I don't think it's gonna be an option. But if these fish are finicky, this will help or should help. All right, we're on bottom. Oh, yeah, that's a good one. That's a good fish. This is a sea bass. It's a legal fish, I think. I don't know that this is a weak fish. If it is a weak fish, it's a nice weak fish. But if it's a sea bass, it's a keeper. It's moving around like it's probably not a sea bass. Might be a fluke, actually. It's definitely not a fluke. It's a, it's a it's a weak fish. It's not a bad one. <laughs> nice 23, 24 incher. Inhaled it. Easy, easy. There we go. Nice 
fish. 22, 23 incher. Oof. All right, that was another nice sweet fish. Obviously not as big as the, the first one, but always happy to see one of them on the end of my line, even if I would prefer a sea bass. And even if we can't deliver on the sea bass, and even if we can't deliver on the Montauk trip, one thing you know we can deliver on here. You know what's about to happen, folks. Our seltzer of the day. And this might actually be the most expensive seltzer I've reviewed on this channel so far, bottle per bottle wise. This is Boylan Bottling Company. Um, I was not aware of this, my wife was. Uh, they make like sodas and other stuff. Established in 1891, so let's see if uh, it justifies the price. I think a 12 pack, or sorry, four pack of this was like 11 or $12. So those are pretty lofty uh, shoes to fill in terms of price. Well, I'll be. That's actually pretty damn good. Uh, it's very, very, very crisp, if that makes any sense. Uh, the bubbles feel like very small and the lime is very like punchy. It's like, a, it's like Sprite minus the sugar. Um, so yeah, this is really tasty. Uh, I know the price tag might be a bit of an obstacle, but the flavor should definitely overcome that. So I'd check it out if I were you and thank you for checking out this video. Uh, let's see if we can get on more action. If you hit that like and subscribe, I'd appreciate that, appreciate that a lot. Let's see what else we can catch. That's a little guy. Feels like a sea robin. Sea bass. It's gotta be at least like one borderline keeper down there. Like I understand if most of them have been picked off, but still. Fish. Got some mussels. Not quite sure what it is yet. Very subtle bite. Weak fish. Surpr unsurprisingly, probably some of you. Not huge, but pretty fish. Cannot hold on to these things for the life of me. Another nice little weak fish. Probably like a 21, 22 incher. Not huge, but really fun size. Uh, yeah. I'm sure there's someone watching this that's like yelling at the TV or screen or whatever why I'm throwing these things back. Uh, obviously you can only keep one, but I've met people on the water that have told me that weak fish is their favorite fish to eat. Uh, and I'm just curious if you guys, if you ever caught one, if you like one, and if you do like them, how do you like them prepared? Because, uh, it eludes me how to properly prepare these fish. Um, please be kind in the comments. Goes without saying. All right, let's work a little deeper. It's the structure I think even kind of goes further than I have been even trying. It seems like the best hits I'm getting are on the deeper end of this structure. So let's let's start deeper and see what happens. So I have been getting some hits in like the 70 to 80 foot range. Nice. It's not that big, but it's 
that small. It's, it's probably be good. Weak fish. <laughs> It's probably the second biggest one so far. I just spit it, so we won't have to worry about wondering what it was. It's not that big. Jeez. Whew. Well, that works. <laughs> That works. All right, we're up in the weight a little. It's at least three quarter ounce. It might even be a full ounce. Um, still getting bites, but it's not a hot bite like when I first got in. Uh, so we're gonna go over this again, see what happens. See if this makes any kind of difference. And depending on how this goes, we might try and work a different piece of the structure just cause I feel like I should be getting more action, uh, particularly having a good drift and all that stuff. Baby biscuit. Another small sea bass. I might do a long drift this time and see what we can do, unless we get something big or significant in the first half of the drift. Do one run over the whole piece of structure and assess how we do there. If we do well, we'll consider doing it again, working a different piece. If not, we're gonna start working our way back in, just cause uh, I don't have all, all day. I got some things I need to do this later this afternoon, this evening. Missed that hook set, but I think we got a fluke. Decent fluke. Feels nice. Yeah, that's a nice fluke. That's a legal fish for sure. Not a monster, but nice. Almost 19 and a half. Just got a nice keeper fluke, like 19 and a half inch almost. Got him on the other side of the structure that I haven't really been targeting too much. So we went back a bit on the drift. We'll go over that area again, different trajectory, but wouldn't mind a, a few more nice fluke. I didn't keep that fish because I've got plenty of fluke in the freezer. Unless I get one that's like, at least approaching five pounds. I'm not keeping it, uh, particularly in the sound. I might keep some when I go to the South Shore later this week if that happens, but sound, I'd rather just let them go. What I will keep though is some sea bass or tog. Those are the two species I would be pretty happy to take home. All right, we're gonna try one more time over what I think is probably the most productive piece of this structure. It's very lackluster when I work the whole thing. It's not the best tide right now too, so it's starting to slow down. But even still, I should be able to pull something up. So let's try this, 10 minutes, nothing, we're out of here. And we fish a few other pieces on the way in. That's something nice. Not, not sure what it is. It's nice. It's picking up weight, which is always a good sign. Probably another weak fish, if I had to guess. Feels like a cross between a fluke and a sea bass, which usually means weak fish. Indeed, tell by the shine. Nice 
fish. Not quite as big as that first one, but probably one of the better ones of the day. Nice fish. 24-incher probably. Another nice weak fish. It's surprising that there's so many more over here than the other piece of the structure. Like, it's a very large piece of structure. Right now, I'm, I'm working the tide facing side of it. You know, the tide we have right now. And when I got that fluke and before I tried like in the middle of the structure and then the tide, the piece that was like behind the tide. And all I was getting over there was like little hits. Um, not much action. I don't know, maybe if the tide was stronger, if it was coming from the other direction, it'd be a better uh, bet on that side, but this is the side where a lot of the action is, so. Give this one or two more drifts. I'm not gonna leave them if they're biting, but uh, I do wanna try at least one more piece of structure on the way in, just because it's been decent to me for sea bass. As decent as any place over here has been uh, this time of year. Here. It's got to be a weak fish. Jeez. That's the smallest one of the day. It's still legal. As long as these fish are still biting, I'll keep chasing them. What the heck is that? What is that? That's something good. Probably a weak fish. 80 feet of water just about. It's not huge, but if it's not a weak fish, it's something good. It's a weak fish. <laughs> it's a weak fish. They're all over this part of the structure. Thought maybe, just maybe that would be a sea bass, but not so much. Not a bad fish. Gotten quite a few of them at this size. just hit me in a not so great spot just to give some perspective because a lot of them have been like this size give or take it's like a 23 incher another nice weak fish about 80 feet of water they are just stacked in this spot like it's not giant schools of them but they're pretty plentiful in this area, but only on this side of the structure, it seems. There we go. That's a better, whoa, that could be the, the fish to go out on. <clears throat> Bite's still doing strong. Nice weak fish. Jeez, man, this bite has been legit. That's probably the second biggest one, I'd say. I've said that several times, but this one's definitely a bit bigger than the, the last one or two. I don't know 
how I just got so tangled up around my tip, but I don't want it to snap off. So we're gonna take care of that real quick before we get this guy unbuttoned. Definitely the nicest one and probably since that first one. They love these paddle shads. Four and a half. Solid. It's so hard to leave these fish when they're biting like this. Okay, so shortly after getting that fish, I decided I had to move in. Uh, I didn't want to be on the water too, too long. And on the way back, there was one piece of structure I wanted to hit up, as it is one that I have pulled legal-sized sea bass on, which is something that's pretty tough for me to do in the Western Sound in the middle of summer. But I decided to give it an honest effort since it was on the way anyways, and, well, this is what happened. There he is. There he is. That's a nice fish. What could it be? Oh, no. Oh, that was probably my keeper sea bass. And if it is sea bass, it might come back, but I doubt it. It came back. It came back. That's a sea bass. That's 100% a sea. Oh, my gosh. Three for three. Come on. Come on. All right, that is going to do it for today. Uh, overall, really good day of fishing. Even, it's funny because uh, I wasn't even planning on fishing this particular spot, but because things happened the way they did, I was kind of forced to come here as my second alternative, and I'm happy I did. It was a really fun time. Uh, those weak fish obviously saved the day, and there's nothing wrong with that. Not my favorite eating fish, as I've constantly remarked, but a ton of fun to catch, particularly on like a fluke type setup. Uh, very aggressive too. Uh, didn't necessarily find the sea bass I was looking for. I never seem to. And when I do, uh, I, I throw them back because I'm an idiot. Uh, but anyways, yeah, uh, the, the key was just, you know, light jig heads, the paddle shad. I think regular gulp would have worked, well as, worked just as well. Uh, but these fish were really tight to structure, you know. Uh, working along the, the edge of it in particular, and surprisingly the tide facing side. Uh, very heavy structure though. Um, rocks, boulders, etc. Uh, I'm sure if I moved away from it, I probably could have found some more, but we're talking like 60 to 80 feet right along the ledge of it. So that was the, the recipe for success today, and it was a fun time. You know, it's always fun to get a good weak fish bite with some quality fish like that. So thank you for watching as always. I'll catch you the next one. Goodbye from fishing.